So, we all started looking for the toy of the week. Hey Jason, what about this? Jemima had found a puppet. This looks good too. What have you got there? Puppets? Let me have a go. Hmm, don't think much of this. This wig for a start, pathetic. And what stupid trousers. No way could this be toy of the week. It's too babyish. But little kids will love him. He's so cute. Actually, I've got more puppets. And a whole puppet theatre out the back. <gasps> we could put on a show. Brilliant. OK. As long as you do it my way. Right. This way. While the others went to fetch the puppet theatre, I stayed behind to talk to Grandpa. This puppet show will never work. You know what Floyd's like? He always wants to take over. Don't worry. I'll get him interested in something else. I don't know what yet, but I'll find something. <laughs> While Mr. Whoops tried to put up the puppet theatre, Grandpa climbed inside a furry pencil case. Oops! Mr. Whoops had another little accident. <laughs> you need a bandage, Mr. Whoops. Thank you. let's go get It was time for Grandpa to put his plan into action. <laughs> Pencil case just back. It did. How did it do that? Look, it's nodding its head. Hey, Mr. Whoops, this is cool. Well, bless my bow tie. I had no idea it was a barking pencil case. Of course, it wasn't a barking pencil case. It was a barking grandpa. <gasps> You've done it, Jason. Now we can do our show. I don't want to do your silly show anymore. I'm playing with this. I'm going to call it Nigel, after my dad. 